So as we up our essential oil game and we become, you know, more educated on essential oils, we we like we can be a little fancy. We don't have to always have peppermint lavender and mint, peppermint lavender and um, tea tree oil. We can do some other stuff. So this is the video for you. These oils are not super budget friendly, but they're not exotic, so they're not gonna break your bank. They're kind of like middle class oils. They're the oils in the middle. Welcome back to my channel. If you're only but goody, welcome back. If you're brand new, welcome boo. As you all know, we are on the journey to get butt crack hair. We're using protective styles. We are learning about essential oils. We're learning about herbs. We're learning about our hair porosity and our hair type. And so I'm super excited to be here with you all today. Let's get into these essential oils. These are not our budget ones, but they're not our bougie horty torty ones. The ones right in the middle, you know, our middle class ones. And I have some great ones for you all today. Remember, essential oils always need a carrier oil. Essential oils always need a carrier oil. They need to be in a healthy relationship with the carrier oil before they, you put it on your head or your skin. So the first one I want to talk about is um, cedarwood oil, essential oil. Now, cedarwood essential oil, it has a warm, woodsy smell. So this is warm and woodsy. And I'm really, I'm really into floral stuff, but if you're not into floral stuff, you can get cedarwood. It's warm and woodsy. It's a great treatment for hair loss and dandruff. It is great for hair growth because it balances the oil production in your scalp. And that helps to clear your glands out so that your hair can grow. The warming oil is significantly improves, improves blood circulation and can result in vigorous hair growth. And that's what we want, butt crack hair. Vigorous butt crack hair. The next oil is the celery sage oil. This is just, first of all, this plant is humongous. It's the giant of the sages. And this is the celery sage one. And it has a musky aroma, a very earthy aroma to it. It is known um, because it has a photoestrogen co um, content, which contributes to hair growth and preventing or reversing balding, y'all. So if you're going bald, this you may want to, you know, use this hair growth oil. Furthermore, when you put it into the um, massage, massage it to your scalp, it can help normalize oil production and control dandruff. I'm seeing like a trend here with these oils normalizing um, oil production and controlling dandruff. The next oil we're going to talk about is this patchouli essential oil. Now I really like this oil. It has a very, very earthy smell. So if you're not into earthy smells, uh, you may not want to use this. I feel like when I use this oil, I'm in like India or Indonesia, the Philippines. And this is, has, like I said, has an earthy smell and it's anti-inflammatory, anti um, it helps to clean your scalp and keep your scalp from having fungus on it. It's great for um, treating many scalp ailments and I particularly like this because I have eczema and it's great for eczema. Yeah, you know, eczema can actually cause hair loss. So the next oil, the next essential oil I have for you, the next essential oil I have for you is called Elong Elong oil and it just, it literally means flowers of flower. This oil has such a great floral scent. This oil is useful in fighting a dry and itchy scalp due to inadequate sebum protection. So if your scalp is not making enough oil, this oil is used to help combat that. Um, it can, this, when you don't have enough oil on your scalp, it can lead to thin, brittle hair and hair loss. It naturally, stim it naturally stimulates the oil production, which is great for moisturizing the scalp and hair. So if you don't have enough oil being made from your scalp, then use this. Now, if you have a lot of oil being made, I don't want to use this. The next essential oil I want to talk to you about is geranium essential oil. Now geranium is actually in the rose family, but this is just full of amino acids. It helps to prevent hair loss, it helps to treat scalp irritation, and it helps to tone the scalp. Just like rose oil, I mean rose, yeah, rose essential oil helps to tone the scalp and rose water helps to tone your skin. This does the same thing because it's in the same family. And the last oil I want to talk to you all about is this tangerine oil. This tangerine essential oil is antifungal and it's, it's really a popular ingredient for skin formulas and it also works for hair because it has um, the antifungal properties and it helps to treat dandruff, dry scalp, and other scalp infections. And of course, vitamin C, y'all. That's it, guys. That's all I have for you all today. Thank you so much for spending this time with me. I'm going to shamelessly put another video up here. If you have not already liked and subscribed, I'm going to need you to do that. 
go ahead and do it now. Like and subscribe. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye, y'all.